I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. As I give you my next guest, I've got Dr. Greg Year. He wants to, he's going to give us some information about extreme, uh, well, about some prostate problem. I'll let him explain for us. Dr. Year, welcome and thank you for being here to talk about such a, um, a, a, a delicate problem. Sure, Valder. I appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. It is Men's June. Health Month, month of June, and it is a uh, very common condition uh, that we see the symptoms of uh, uh, bathroom habits, if you will. So the, what kind of brought this up, there was a survey of a thousand men, 45 years of age and older, who had at least one uh, voiding or bathroom symptom. And it really highlighted how common this, this is. Uh, more than half would avoid activities because of the, the need to go to the bathroom frequently. It interrupted their sleep. Uh, they would have to know where the bathrooms were when they were going to places and really impacted their, their uh, daily living. Prostate problems, let's uh, uh, give my audience a wider view. Are they uh, prostate problems because of age or because of a problem? Right. Good question, Valder. The, so all men have a prostate and in about half of us, it enlarges as we age. And that's really what we're, we're talking about with it. So uh, the prostate enlarges and impacts the urethra. So it impacts our voiding. So the bladder is a muscular sac. It fills, stores urine. It empties. That's the work of the muscle. And if that prostate is overgrown and tight, that bladder muscle has to work harder. And that's where the, the voiding symptoms come through. But again, it, it impacts really uh, the prostate enlarges in more than half of men. Thank you so much for that explanation. Okay. So if this is a problem, you got to know where the bathroom is, you feel like you got to go to the bathroom a lot. What are some of the things maybe you can circumvent that problem with? Sure. I mean, it's, it's, Again, common, it uh, increases with age and we're living longer and healthier nowadays. So it's going to impact more and more men. There are medications that uh, men, many men have tried or don't want to try because of the side effects that can have impact on sexual function. And uh, actually recent studies show that one of the most common groups of medication we use can increase the risk of heart failure, which again, uh, not a desirable thing. There are also uh, more invasive surgeries that can impact sexual function, can have side effects that, that most men would like to avoid, but that's if they wait too long, that's what they're dealing with. So we're excited now. There's a, a minimally invasive option that we've been doing more and more of for the, for the right patient, finding it, it, it this process, this disease BPH early enough, we can offer them a, a Urolift system uh, way to address this. When you uh, talk to your primary doctor, because I'm going to assume everything starts with the primary, he has to recommend you, and he sends us to a urologist. Do we know to ask about the Urolift system, or will a urologist know? Well, your well-informed listeners will now know, Valder, but it's, um, it is becoming more common. It's, it's actually done uh, worldwide and really, um, really an innovative treatment that's revolutionized our ability as urologists to offer uh, treatment to patients. Um, you're right, many men start with the primary care, but they don't necessarily have to. And, and uh, you know, a lot of primary cares are becoming more educated with it. One of my best referrals is to treat a primary care doctor who has BPH, who needed relief of his symptoms, treatment of the disease, gets the Urolift system, and then is one of the biggest advocates for it. So. Um, but I think just getting the word out, educating is really the, the key thing. Okay. And finally, how important is it for men? You know, sometimes people find a workaround and we live with the workaround. How important Absolutely. is this for men to address? 
Yeah, that's a great question, Valder. The, ignoring these symptoms, it's like uh, uh, just can impact other areas of, uh, of our life. It can impact bladder health. We are learning and talking more about that, just like we talked about that muscle. If you overuse that muscle, you can burn it out. And I tell patients, you don't want to become one of the guys on the catheter commercials. Unfortunately, that's a, a bladder that may not work because you have ignored those symptoms for too long. So, and again, the quality of life, you know, what, like we said at the open, you avoid activities, impacts uh, um, your ability now that we're getting out and getting back to life, you don't want to be hampered by uh, the bathroom. So addressing that is, is the way to go. And, you know, I would encourage your audience to uh, to get more information, learn themselves. The, the website, urolift.com, so U R O. L-I-F-T, Eurolift.com, can give them that information, start them on the journey, find uh, resources in their local area who can, uh, can help them with this. Dr. Greg, thank you so much for sharing these findings from a recent survey. I really appreciate it, and I'd love yeah. for my audience to act on your advice. Have a great day. You too, Valder. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs>